So I was visiting New York. Now, when I say New York, do you imagine New York the city or New York the whole state? Well, it was both. I was actually staying in a little town, actually a village called Ossining. Well, I would call it a town, but they call themselves a village for some reason. But when I say the word village and I hear it, I think of straw huts and mud paths and maybe rice terraces for some reason. But they do call themselves a village. In fact, this coffee shop where this video happens is called First Village Coffee. And if you're ever in the area, Austining, uh, I would recommend definitely go in there. Tell them I sent you. Maybe they'll give you a free sticker or something, but don't tell them I said that they would do that. No guarantees, okay? Uh, but I was, I was in New York visiting some relatives. This is a this is a, a, a trip I planned like a month or two ahead of time. And maybe I should have planned it a little more than that. It turns out you need to plan trips like six months ahead of time or more if you want to do some uh, touristy things like go up to the tippy top uh, noggin of the Statue of Liberty, which you can do now. I think maybe you couldn't do that for a long time because they were doing renovations like her insides were all fragile and Anyways, you can do it now, but we couldn't do it because we couldn't get tickets. Regardless, I planned this trip, and it perfectly coincided with a mean old Florence swooping in on the East Coast. So I evacuated by going to New York, and then I was stuck there, and I had to stay three extra days uh, because, uh, like, my I thought my airport got like washed off into the Atlantic Ocean. But it turns out it was just shut down and my flights kept getting canceled. I was stuck there. And after like two or three days that I meant to be there, you know, I had pretty much done everything that that there is to do in New York City. Like what is, you know, you can go to a museum. You can walk down a street. You can uh, see a comedy show. Eat a pizza. Look at that park in the middle. And then you're done, Right. So after that, my extra days there, I just kept, my, my relatives there showed me this uh, coffee shop they liked there in their town of Ossining, and it was like a really nice coffee shop. And I've seen some nice coffee shops in my day, and I think coffee shops are a special thing. They can like really bring a community together, but even if they're not a special thing, uh, they're just like a chill place to go, you know, whether you're tired of being at home or work or school, they're just some like third uh, some other place to go to just chill for a second and sit there and drink your coffee or your tea or your chai. Is ch does chai count as tea? What is that exactly? Is it And what is it made of? Chai is a huge mystery to me. I should look it up. Maybe, I, but I probably won't. Anyways, but some, like this one, and I remember I had like a really good coffee shop in Chicago that I miss sometimes, but this one's really cool, and people who work there, like Luis, the guy who owned it, he was just, he's just like impossibly nice, he like showed me around everywhere, he gave me like a tour of the town, um, but yeah, they let me draw on their sandwich board. First of all, I don't know why it's called a sandwich board, uh, when it's still connected at one end, it should be called like a hot dog bun board, or a hoagie board maybe, but... I felt really, apparently they switched the out, the art, switched the art out every week or so. I hope they weren't lying to me about that because the art that was already on there that I had to erase uh, was incredible, simply amazing. And the girl there, who they, who, there's a girl that works there who's a barista and they say uh, that she does it a lot of the time. Um, apparently she's so good at, it, good at it that some of the other businesses there on the street and nearby uh, have seen her work and started to uh, get her to do it on there. So she's got like a little sandwich board art business going, which I think is super cool. So I, I felt a little bad, um, you know, dipping into her business there, but I didn't mind leaving my my mark there on the sandwich board for just like a little week. Hope she didn't mind. If you're out there, girl who does the sandwich board art, I'm sorry I forgot your name. I'm bad at names, but thank you for letting me do that. And I love your drawings too. Keep it up. Um, yeah, so these were with those chalk chalk paint marker pens. And sometimes, you know, you like one of your drawings, some of your drawings a little more and some of your drawings a little less. That was the case here. One side I like more, one side I like less. That's okay. You just got to keep going. 
go with, you know, it's like a little roller coaster. Sometimes it's like a little less, sometimes a little more, sometimes it's a little more fun. And you put your hands up and you're screaming and sometimes it's just kind of a grind as the roller coaster just slowly chinks and turns up to the next exciting part. It's okay. Keep moving forward. If art, you know, was completely easy and just super perfect, if, if it was easy to do, um, you know, perfect, amazing artworks all the time, then wouldn't everyone do it? I don't know. So you just got to work at it, but only, but in a fun way. I don't mean to say you should turn it into a, like a grind, some sort, you know, like you guys, you guys are picking up what I'm putting down. Anyways. Anyways, I don't know what else I was going to say. I have gotten home now. I'm home safe. My house is mostly in one piece. There was some roof leakage, but only onto like a couple of things. Most of the rooms in the house that mattered to me are okay. And I'm only renting the house, so everything's fine. Just a little update for you. I'm okay. Everything's great. Yeah, okay. And goodbye, everyone. All right, goodbye. Thank you. Have a good day, everybody. All right, all right. I'm bad at ending.